Hello and welcome to this AutoCAD tutorial video for AutoCAD 2017. In this video we're going to be considering uh, annotations. Now note please that this is not uh, annotative dimensions or annotative annotations. We're purely looking at the annotate uh, function. Basically uh, looking at installing uh, leaders. So let's have a look uh, at this. First of all we're going to learn how to create uh, a new multi-leader style. So uh, we'll select multi-leader styles. Uh, as you can see, I've got a uh, multi-leader style that I've used before, created before, for a worksheet that I've produced. Uh, so we'll start off from the standard option, which produces uh, a uh, multi-leader that looks like this. So let's create a brand new one. We'll call it Worksheet X. And we want this uh, to start off from the standard uh, value, uh, rather than the additive or the Worksheet 14. And we'll, we'll start from there. So let's create... Uh, our new style. So going through the tabs uh, within this window again you can see we've got different options so we can have our multi-leader which is basically just the name uh, for uh, the arrow uh, on, on a drawing. Uh, it can be straight or it can be a spline so a curved line or you can have no leader. Uh, but we're going to keep it straight because that's the, uh, the best way for producing technical drawings like this. There are different options we can use for our arrowhead. We'll keep it closed filled for the time being. And we can change our arrowhead size. So let's set that to say 2.5. And as you'll see in the preview window, that makes the arrowhead smaller. Uh, and I clicked the wrong button there. So let's just select that again and modify and go back in. So uh, you can see that that's kept the changes that we made. Looking at the leader structure here, uh, you can see uh, one or two valuable things here. Uh, the uh, set landing distance at currently is 8 mil. Now if we change that to something a lot smaller, drop that down to 2, you can you see it makes that section of the uh, leader shorter. So if we change that back to 8, you'll see that get bigger. So that's uh, what that does. If we change that to 5, yep, that's, uh, that's a pretty good uh, uh, distance for this type of drawing. Okay, uh, also uh, we've got uh, the content Okay, we can change uh, various things in here. Change the text style, the text angle. We want to keep it horizontal because we want to be able to read our drawings from just one position. We can change the color. At the moment, it's by block. You can change that to by layer or give it a specific color if you want. Uh, but we'll keep it by block. Uh, the text height, we can set that to 2.5. Change that so it's a little bit smaller, which again is ideal for um, uh, for drawings on sort of A4 size. Uh, and you can change the justification or put it in a box if you want. Okay, uh, personally, I like to have it not in a box. Uh, looking now here at this, the leader connection, you can change where it connects to the text. Uh, horizontal uh, attachment is the uh, standard, the best way of doing that, so we'll leave that uh, as the horizontal attachment. Uh, and you can change the gap here. Uh, if we change that again to something huge, change that to 10, what it does is it changes the distance between the end of uh, the arrow and the text. So we'll change that uh, back to uh, 2 mil as it was. That's a, uh, a decent landing gap. So that's what we're looking at. So uh, it's fairly simple and straightforward. Uh, again, experiment with this and see uh, what the different options do. We'll save that as Worksheet X. And then if we want to actually use it, uh, we can uh, set that uh, as uh, current. So we'll set that uh, as current. That's the one we want to work with. So that's the one uh, that we'll create. So if we now close this window down, you can see that uh, Worksheet X is now ready to go. So when it comes to actually uh, doing the dimension, uh, the annotations on here, uh, all we need to do is select this button, uh, Multi-Leader. Okay, and let's say we want to give some information about this uh, here. So if you imagine this is a block of metal with various holes going through it, and we want to add uh, information about these uh, different holes. So you can see here that the, uh, it's automatic snap, automatically snapping to a tangent point on that circle. So if we now take this, we've got our angle there at 45 degrees, so that looks quite smart. And we'll pop that down there. You can see the text box is now open. So we want to point out that this hole that's passing through here is 8 mil in diameter. Now, uh, the way that we do that is we start off with the diameter symbol. Now, most keyboards uh, won't have the diameter symbol ready to go. So we've got a couple of options here. Uh, we can right click. Uh, sorry, let's just install that again. So we'll put that back in. 
Okay, so we can right click here uh, and then scroll down to symbol and you can see here we've got the different options that we uh, we can use so uh, all of these are, are symbols that can be put in immediately however there are some uh, special options that we can use see here we've got diameter plus minus and degrees you notice how they've got these shortcut uh, functions uh, the percent symbol twice followed by C for diameter so we can either just select that and it'll drop the uh, diameter symbol in there or you can type in that uh, shortcut so if you go percentage percentage C uh, lowercase c it will create the diameter uh, symbol and once you you remember what the different shortcuts are this becomes an awful lot quicker so it's uh, quite a good way of doing it so uh, this hole is 8 mil in diameter but as well as being an 8 diameter hole uh, through this block of metal we're also interested in what's this here well this is a countersunk uh, uh, hole uh, and therefore we want to show that this is uh, a counter sink uh, and not a counter bore. So what we're going to do is we're going to uh, insert here now uh, the uh, counter sink symbol. So again we go to symbol and we go to other and that will bring up a uh, lots of options here now. If it doesn't automatically go to here to GDT uh, then that is the uh, the one that you want to select. Basically, this just brings up all the different uh, fonts that are available to you, uh, and GDT is where we'll find a lot of our engineering symbols that we want to use. And if you look here, here's our uh, countersink symbol. So we select that. You see here it's saying what characters do you want to copy. So I want to select uh, that one. So it puts it in there, and then if you press copy, and then close this window down, if you now uh, hold down Control and V for paste. It inserts that in there. Now, what you'll notice is that that dimension, that uh, symbol, is smaller than this one. Okay, so what we want to do is make that the same size. And what's happened is that it's just defaulted to the the automatic setting for for this symbol. So here we've got 2.5. You can see up here uh, the size of the font is changing, and this, bear in mind, is just the height uh, of the symbol. So this is 2.5 mil high and this is 1.875 mil high so if we change that to 2.5 mil either by dropping down and finding the values that have already been selected we can do so or you can just type it straight in there so for example I can make it huge make that 4 mil uh, which is clearly too big in this instance so we'll change that back to 2.5 by typing that in so that's our 2.5 mil value and now uh, we want to put in the diameter symbol again Okay, but you'll notice that the percentage symbol now looks a little bit different, and that is because uh, we've inserted that symbol as GDT. And if you look up here, when I move the cursor about, you can see it's changing from Arial here to GDT here. So I want to go back to my Arial setting. Now, again, just a tip instead of scrolling up and down to try and find the correct uh, font that you want to use, just type in Arial and uh, it will take you to it. There we go. So there's our Arial. Uh, setting back to 2.5 mil that's fine and we want to know that countersink is uh, 10 mil in diameter so diameter diameter uh, C uh, sorry percent percent C gives us our diameter symbol uh, 10 mil and then we want to say it's 10 mil uh, by 90 degrees uh, again I don't have a degree symbol on my calculator so if I right click and symbol you can see it's there so I could type in percent percent D or just select it from there and it puts it in. Now this all looks a bit funny the spacing so let's space this out so it looks a little bit more uh, user friendly and once you click outside of the box you've got your uh, uh, information in there intact. So uh, other uh, kind of tips for this uh, uh, let's say if you want to dimension this one if you want to add some information about this one uh, we'll put another leader in here okay we'll put it up uh, across on this side like so and what we'll say is that this hole um, I'm not actually entirely happy with where that's positioned so if I just change that so it's at the top of there like that looks better uh, okay okay so this one's gone a bit weird so let's let's just pop one in again so the multi leader comes off here uh, and up to here and we'll start putting in our information. So if we put in percentage percentage C, it's a six mil diameter hole. Uh, but this hole doesn't go all the way through; it only goes part of the way through. 
So we want to uh, insert our symbol, so we'll right click uh, and symbol and then other and then if we put in this symbol here uh, that will uh, show us uh, the depth that we want the hole to be. So we'll select that, we'll copy it, close that down and then control V and it's put it in there. But again it's made it uh, a bit smaller than it was before so let's change that to 2.5 that's made it nice and big again and we're still on GDT so we want to change that to Arial as our Arial option and uh, we want to point out that this is 8mm deep Okay. Uh, now that uh, an interesting thing here is if you've got an eye for detail which is a, a drafts person really would hope that you do have um, you'll notice that this uh, space here, although we only hit the space bar once, is considerably bigger than that one there. And the reason for that is that this space was put in with the Arial font, and this space has been put in uh, with the GDT font. So if we change this back to Arial again, Arial, there it is. Okay, and you can see that now it's made that gap the same size as that gap. Yep. Uh, for those of you who uh, are interested, there is a, an interesting field of study called kerning, uh, which is all about the uh, placement and positioning of gaps between letters uh, and numbers and how to make it look uh, nice. So that's just something to, to keep an eye out for. Other symbols that we might want to include include counterboring. So we might uh, want to include a counterbore for this. It's just exactly the same procedure as we looked at before, uh, but you would find the counterbore symbol and add it onto here. So that is uh, a brief overview of how to install annotations and multi-leaders. Uh, more to follow in future videos. Thank you very much for watching and as always if you have any comments or queries uh, or suggestions for future videos uh, then please let me know in the comments. Thank you very much. Goodbye.